good morning class 1 so today we are going to begin with our exercises from page number 67 so let's understand and fill in the blanks with the correct words the first one we have here is a our dash help us to walk so we have options like legs and hands so the correct option is legs then question 2 our hands help us to right okay then there is question 3 there are five sense organ and question 4 the nose help us to smell and question 5 the tongue help us to taste moving on so after this we have next question question b right t for true and f for false statement so so the question number 1 states that we do many different things using different parts of our body it is a true statement so write t here then question 2 we can feel the world only with our eyes it is a false statement so write f question 3 the air help us to feel and touch which is also a false statement so write f here then question 4 the eyes help us to see it is a true statement then question 5 adults grown up to become children it is a false statement moving on so the next question we have here is a choose the correct option the first question goes like this which of these do we do using our legs and your options are walk run play and all of this so the correct answer is option d all of this then question number 2 which of these help us to eat and carry things and your options are legs hands ears and all of this so option b hands are the correct option question 3 which of these is not a sense organ and your options are ears and eyes tongue and skin hands and legs and nose so hands and legs option c is the correct option which is not a sense organ here then we have question 4 we feel hot and cold with the help of or dash so that will be your skin then question number 5 what do we call grown up people so the correct option is option a adults moving on so the next question we have is a very short answer type questions give one word for the following and the first question is the body part that help us to walk to the school is you have to write legs then question 2 the body part that help us to eat is hands then the body part that help us to feel the world around us is the skin and the last one children grown up to become this that will be your adults okay so moving on with the next question so the next we have is answer the following questions and question number 1 starts with the what are sense organs and then you have to write the eyes ears nose tongue and a and skin are called sense organs these help us to feel the world around us okay then you have to write question number 2 name the five sense organs and what each of each one help us feel so you can write ear help us to hear eyes help us to see nose help us to smell tongue help us to taste and skin help us to feel and touch okay then we have question number 3 who are adults so you have to write 
adults are grown up people moving on so the next we have is let's recall questions uh, re recall and complete the concept map given below so the body parts has been divided into two legs and hands for legs they have uh, subdivided into three uh, categories legs help us to walk run and play and in body part there is a sense organ which is here written here is a eyes can see nose can smell ears can hear tongue can taste and skin can touch then we have a other another body part which is a hand beneath that there is a help us to hand help us to eat and help us to write and help us to carry things so this is how you write it so next we have is a so the next question we have is from let's observe question number one observe the picture and answer the so the question number one is observe the picture and answer the question that follows as you can see there is a picture of a uh, hand, print of an hand okay so you have to find so what you have to do is you have to answer the questions what is the part shown in this picture called so it's a picture of a hands so you have to write hands here then question B write any five things you can do using this body part so that will be your you have to write we can eat write hold play and clap using hands that much you have to write after that we have question number two so look at the picture below and write the body parts and its action to complete the sentence as you can see there's a, uh, several pictures given here a girl is uh, reading a book and a boy is listening to a music and one boy is writing to a book then one boy is running on a ground so you have to write eyes help us to read ears help us to listen hands help us to write and legs help us to run this is how you write it moving on so the next thing we have here is a question from let's connect write one word to describe how it feels when you smell a rose or you touch a feather or you press a stone or you taste a chocolate or you taste touch an ice cube so what you have to write is you have to describe how it feels so for the first one you have to write a rose smells sweet then for number two you have to write a feather feels soft for number three you have to write stone feels hard then for number four you have to write a chocolate taste sweet then for five you have to write an ice cube feels cold okay so moving on so after this we have let's uh, apply question in the picture given below which sense organ can you use to catch his friends now so as you can see there is a picture uh, there are a bunch of children playing blindfolded hide and seek so how can a mohan catches his friend with help of which organ so you have to write is Mohan is using his ear to listen to his friends and catch them okay then we have let's analyze and evaluate question Mona was blindfolded and a basket of apple oranges and pineapples were placed before her which of these can help her to identify the fruits 
so you have to write there are four options given out of which hand is the correct option here okay moving on and the next question we have is question 2 with the help of which of these can we make out a rainbow in the sky so with the help of eyes we can make out there is a rainbow in the sky so that's all for now we have finished our exercises now we will uh, begin with our new chapter in the next class thank you